Hey everybody, John here with Adventures in Ranching. In today's, and I say today, but it's probably going to be a uh, adventure that spans a, a couple of evenings um, because I'm busy trying to do other things to make a little money, put a little food on the table. Anyway, uh, we are going to do a bit of an update on Project 944. The, uh, the Porsche that's been sitting way too long. We are down to pretty much this. My diagrams for all of my spaghetti of hoses. I have definitely made some progress, but I have not uh, been documenting it for a variety of reasons. Uh, I've been dealing with a torn rotator cuff, um, having to do a little work for a living. Now we've got the uh, global pandemic. Um, and just to be honest, uh, a little overall laziness. Well, we're going to get past that because if I want to make the channel grow, want to give you guys some entertainment, etc., uh, etc., et then i got to really get on it. So, anyway, uh, as you can see, i got brand new injectors in it. The injector rail is all down. Uh, tower cover is all on. Intake is all in. I've checked this a couple of times, so balance shaft belt, regular belt are in and up and on. So those are all good. Um, got the new spark plugs in it. Got mostly new hoses on it where I needed new hoses. Now I'm probably still going to need some more as I uh, finish this up. But it is going to be time to lay out everything and uh, see what I've got to put together and get this done. Cross my fingers and toes. Hope when I turn the key that it actually fires and runs right and then I can make a decision. Like I said, this was one of my favorite cars. Uh, when I was living in Germany, uh, actually stationed in Germany with the military, this car uh, came out while I was over there and I fell in love with it but it was way out of my price range. Um, and finally, like 40 years later, was able to actually get it. So. I have it, I may sell it, I may keep it, but I do want to drive it around for a little while longer because um, it is a ball to drive. Anyway, whoops, as my stuff flies away here. Anyway, well, let's get going. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been two years, more than two years, uh, way too long. Things that are now that I can see that I'm going to have to. Um, get or do or whatever before I can finish this up is I do not have there's a set bolt that goes in here and I'm gonna go ahead and get a new rotor on the way because this one I can clean up but you know I would say they're not too expensive but this is a Porsche so it probably is more expensive than I want to but I need to file this down a little bit or emery it and then this slides over it but there's a set screw that goes in there and I do not have that set screw that holds that in place so I'm going to have to size that up and figure that one out now the other parts of my goodies uh, that I have I do have a new uh, heat switch uh, it is a vacuum switch, a ported vacuum switch with two, and it's specific to this car. So I do have that. <clears throat> I have a cat crawling out underneath there, but this I might see if I can go ahead and order one in. This got pretty well shredded when the belt shredded, and I can fix it if I have to. JB Weld is an amazing tool. But I'll need that. I've got this one. I've got this one. That goes over to the distributor uh, uh, area. I do have a good distributor cap. Wires. Uh, throttle body box. Special tools, which cost a fortune. And belts and the lower pan and as a reminder 
when I went back into my notebook here. That is what I was looking at. Uh, 130, 150, 150, but cylinder number two, zero. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to close this video out yet, obviously. Uh, I'm going to make it, you know, basically snap of them. Hmm, what's under here? Oh, sweet. That's where my really good jumper cables went. What's on the other side then? Brake fluid. I can see that down on the bottom. Or power steering fluid, one of the two. All right. This will need a new uh, air filter as well. So, realistically, I got about another hundred dollars worth of parts to spend um, before this comes back together. At least my hood struts are still holding. This one's not looking too good. This one's really good over here, though. Yeah, we'll go from there. This ought to be fun. All right. So. Uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow afternoon, which will be like two seconds from now. Okay, next day, a little bit later in the afternoon like it was yesterday. Um, reality is, is it could take me like hours or days uh, to get the 1980s spaghetti nightmare of vacuum lines. I mean, come on, really? Look at this. This is this is one chart. And this is kind of a listing of only part of the uh, uh, hoses on this. So I'm going to get started on it and then see how far we get. Now that I'm regretting the decision that I made earlier, uh, the uh, two-port switch down here, um, I didn't put it in until just now. Uh, because it's almost impossible to get to right now. But the only reason I did it is because I didn't want those little nipples broke off because that happened on the last time when I uh, dropped the manifold on top of it and had to get a new one. So I'm going to get a wrench in here and get this tight, but this was not fun or easy. Well, we're going to have to get a little creative because in dealing with rubber that's uh, 36 years old, it's just crumbling everywhere. This part broke, this part broke. Uh, I've already had to replace one section up there. So these need to tie in together and then come around to this T right here. So let's see what I can come up with. I would like, I would like a black T fitting, but most of the aftermarket ones are white. That'll stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, so I actually think that we have gotten most of the uh, vacuum in. Now this vehicle does have a chart right here on the fender, part of it's missing of course, and, and for those of you that are mechanically inclined and have been working on these, you know that these are vague at best. So my paper copy is probably better. Now, this switch, which is that one right there, goes down to a three-way port, which goes to here, which goes to the splitter which goes to the fuel rail and those are those right there that goes there that goes there that goes there so that's set this one goes across and down to one side of that uh, two position port which is down that tough one that's up underneath the intake manifold the other side of that port goes to throttle body vacuum right here so we're good there huh well, everybody, I think I've got all the small vacuum put together. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day since the sun's getting ready to go down. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, this is only one step in the journey. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be back out here since it is a weekend and tackle the some of the bigger hoses and put the air box back on. I won't be able to start it yet because I'm waiting for the ignition rotor that comes with the set screws to hold it all in place and then I can put the uh, timing covers back on. So what I got left, obviously I got my air box, I got a couple of larger hoses, I got my coolant hoses that I still have to put on, got my timing covers, 
one of which is pretty trashed like I showed earlier in the video um, we'll see whether I want to pony up the bucks to uh, get a replacement or if I want to go ahead and epoxy that one uh, get it all back together get the distributor back on wires I think once that ignition rotor shows up I am just a couple of hours away from actually trying to fire this up and blow it apart okay thanks for coming along please like subscribe follow